When you think of elephants, what habitat do you think of them being in? Perhaps a jungle, perhaps a savanna, perhaps caves? Yep, caves. So there is this small national park that sits on the border of Kenya and Uganda in Africa, and they contain a cave system from an extinct volcano that has a lot of salt in it. And large mammals, and mammals in general, humans included, love salt. And it's not just elephants. In places like Canada, there's been government officials that have had so many problems with moose licking salt off of cars in the winter that they've had to say like, hey, please stop the moose from licking your cars. It's not good. But moose love salt so much that they just keep doing it and it's becoming a problem. And elephants, specifically in this national park, have figured out ways to mine salt from these caves. So Mount Elgon is a extinct volcano within this national park that has a very extensive cave system with a lot of very valuable, at least to elephants, salt in those caves. And elephants, like moose, like people, like lots of things, really like salt. And it's an essential part of their diet too because they can't get very much from just plants. So they have to get it from other sources, and they have figured out that there's a quite extensive cave system that they can very easily just get salt from. So Kittim Cave within Mount Elgon is kind of one of the more popular and well-known cave spots for salt among elephants, and that's kind of where they mostly go. There aren't a ton of other caves, like around 20 or so, but this is kind of the most well-known one. So when the herd of elephants that lives in and around the national park decide it's time, hey, we need some salt, we're craving some salt, they go take a fun little road trip and go into the cave. Now, this isn't the safest thing to do. Uh, there are some pretty dangerous crevices that elephants, especially young ones, occasionally fall into. Um, there, It's very easy to get lost, unfortunately. Also, some predators have figured out that, hey, elephants like these caves. They come here quite often. And it's not just elephants. The elephants are the most well-known ones, but there's also a bunch of other animals like antelopes and things that come in to take the salt as well. So some predators like lions and hyena... Can I help you? They have figured out that this is a pretty good place to uh, pretty consistently be able to catch prey, so sometimes predators lie in wait there to pick off some younger or weaker individuals. And also, very unfortunately, around the 90s, poachers figured out the same things, which was not great for the elephant population. It's been more regulated now, but that still was not a good thing. But anyway, once the elephants get to these salt quarries, they use their tusks to scrape the salt out of the walls of the cave. You can see here all of these kind of line marks on the wall. Those are from elephants using their tusks to scrape the salt out of the walls. Once they've got a large enough amount, they will just eat it off of the ground, and that's how they get their necessary sodium. So this is a very interesting example of how animals have adapted to their surroundings, and it shows that animals are often quite a lot more intelligent than people think on both the elephant side and the predator's side. The elephants figuring out that this is a good place to go to get a bunch of salt and figuring out how exactly to harvest it and on the predator's side for thinking hey these elephants come here quite a lot and again not just elephants this is a good food source for us so all around is very interesting and a good show of how intelligent animals can be